work. Yeah, keeping that flame alive. Ultimately, a couple can survive the rocky road ahead if they have one thing. Comfortable shoes. A firm foundation Shoe. of love. love yes. <clears throat> and a 62-inch plasma TV. What are you having? Uh, I'm gonna have the chicken, please. Noticed how versatile the chicken is? I mean, on the one hand, you have chicken, but on the other hand, you have egg. Think all the things you could do with an egg. Besides boil it, fry it, scramble it, you could make desserts. You could bind meat. You could even take a piece of chicken, coat it in an egg, and then roll it around in breadcrumbs. I mean, it's, it's fascinating when you think about it. The chicken, the chicken is God's gift to mankind. So you want the chicken? I'll have the steak. Medium rare. Thanks. Okay. Miss, she's good. She had a nice dress. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can vouch for that. She had a very nice... It was a dress? She had a nice dress. Yeah. 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 Nice. Well, what color was her dress? The dress. The dress that Probably. she was wearing. Yep. What color? Your eyes are a lovely uh -uh. dress. I don't, look, I don't know. Look, you're not the only good-looking woman in the universe. You know, it's genetic. I'm pre-programmed to look at a woman as she enters a room and assess her attractiveness. Why? To decide whether or not I'd sleep with her. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I know it's ridiculous. I'm never even going to talk to her, am I? And yet you still do it, I mean, even in front of your wife. Well, that's the worst bit. I mean, we try and hide it, but we can't hide it. I've tried many times not to make my neck move, but it just moves. There, it's moving again. <laughs> but, and it's not only mine. Look, it's his neck. He moved as well. Oh, God, no. I was stretching. <laughs> It's okay. Alvin, it's perfectly okay for you to you. to find other women uh, attractive because I thought she was attractive. Thank you. I see I women have the capacity to find other women attractive. It's nice. And what about men? It's not the same for men. Straight men have got absolutely no interest in seeing another man naked unless it's to compare sizes. Do you do that, Peter? Me? No. Have you ever touched another man's penis before? <gasps> I did once, mm. in college. It wasn't all it was cracked up to be. 
No, <clears throat> no, I haven't, and I'm pretty unlikely to. God, if you knew the average man's hygiene levels, you wouldn't touch one either. You know, Peter gathers an enormous amount of sweat under his balls. All right, all right, it's called the cremasteric reflex, and it's the body's own way of maintaining optical testicular temperature. You must know. Yep, that's correct. It's very moist and sticky. Okay, all right, really, can we please change the subject? The cow. Next to the chicken, God's second most versatile land mammal. Think about the possibilities with milk. All right, so to the cow. Hey, the, the cow. cow. The cow. Yes. <laughs> hey, Alvin. What is going on with us? What do you mean? We just we used to be all over each other. Yeah, you're busy. I'm busy. We get home late, we're tired, I guess. I guess. Can I get back to sleep? Ah! Ah! Can I ask you a question? Yeah? How often do you have sex? Since we conceived? Maybe once or twice? A month. Jesus. Right. A month? No. Once or twice. What about you? We've hit sort of a plateau. Once or twice a month, at best. Jesus, how do you stay married to the same person and not get bored? You don't. You deal with the boredom. That's why God invented the internet and man invented porn. Uh, but what do you got to worry about, Finkel? You don't even have kids yet. You just wait till you do, then your sex life is gonna rot faster than a chicken carcass roasting in the hot summer sun. Ah, Jesus. Oh, I just have no time for myself anymore. And sometimes I get the sense he finds me really unattractive. I mean, do I look unattractive to you? <sighs> you know, I just wish things were the way they were when we first met. It was so nice back then. Yeah. It's a thing about relationships, isn't it? They're always mm. changing and evolving. Mm. And marriage is hard, oh, I guess. Yeah, I feel I'm just pretending everything's okay when it's not. I mean, at what point do you just throw in the towel and admit the boxing match is over? There's no winner. Just two very damaged individuals who quietly beat the shit out of each other over the years. How do you know when it's reached this natural end? You know when you know. And that is when you answer the one fundamental question that every man in a relationship has asked himself at one time or another. Is the grass greener on the other side? Huh? Because you know, if the man's not getting sex at home, he's going to want to go and get it somewhere else. You know that, right? Oh. Oh, it's ready. You don't want to try? Your breast milk? It's good. No. Huh? No, no. I'm good, thank mm. you. It's sweet. Oh, jeez. Be right back. Ah! Mr. Finkel. Thanks, Jenny. So, what do you think? I think you've done a good job there, Henry. Well done. Can I have a date? Yeah, where'd you find this guy? He's funny. Okay, blueprints for the Morrison house. You got a second partner? Uh, sure. Kept it open plan. Took out the swimming pool. I mean, who swims in this country anyway? Loose, modern design, beautiful to look at. Much like myself. Hey, Finkel. Hmm. You even listening to me? Yeah. Yeah. What? You seem a little distracted lately. What's up? Oh, nothing. 
Still having problems on the home front? Kind of, yes. Did I ever tell you that I majored in psychology as an undergrad? Really? No, not really. But I did read a lot of books, though. Trust me, everyone is going through the same thing as you. For men, problems in marriage always boil down to sex. Do they? You see, you spend your whole life trying to get the booty, and when you finally have the booty, the booty has a headache. Wise words, Gandhi. If your sex life is healthy, you can put up with all sorts of personality defects. Yes, but what do you do when the sex dries up? Shop, shop, shop. Shopping is the best antidote to lack of sex. <laughs> <gasps> do you like this fabric? Mm. This is rubbish. But do you have any intimacy? Is that a fabric? Sorry. Intimacy? Some? Not nearly enough. You want sex, they want intimacy. You end up with neither one and you blame each other for it. Mm. Two pints and, uh, Henry? Uh, vodka cranberry. What? It's a refreshing fruity beverage. Okay, you want to know the secret? How we make it work? Ta-da! Oh, that's disgusting. You're naked. <laughs> yes, I am. How do you like that bad boy? Let me show you something. <gasps> is this what I think it is? Maybe. Prada, Spring Collection. <gasps> Looks good on me, no? What are you trying to tell me? I should get naked. Look, you ever been to an Indian restaurant? Yeah, of course. Well, what do you get there? You tell them, you're Indian, Henry. A curry, bindi bhaji, sagalu, sometimes korma. No, spice. That's what you need, spice things up. This is what you have to do. You have at least to try to spice things up. Wear something sexy. Like a fireman's outfit. Uh, Perfect, yes, a fireman's outfit. <clears throat> Guaranteed spice. And then you can whip out your big hose and fill up. A nice hot bar. <laughs> Ding dong, who's at the door? Alvin. And papa boom. You want a copy of this? I got spares. No, thanks. I'll take one. <sighs> okay. Han, you ready? Just a minute. Come in. Did you know that Peter was the one? Mm. He might not have been the one. Yeah, he was a one. Okay, he was someone, someone that I fell in love with. The one's just a myth propagated by books and popcorn movies. No need man. Woman's best friend is right hand. You light candle. Listen to Justin Timberlake. You get picture of James Dean, and then <laughs> you take very big cucumber, and then you stick it. Okay. In I got the idea, thank you. Yeah, I mean, you've never, you know, stuck something up your, you know? A cucumber in... No, I, I haven't done that exactly. Why? It's completely natural. But, you know, maybe you need to pleasure yourself, you know, in order to please Elf, and maybe that's what's wrong with your relationship. I still masturbate about twice a week. Sitting on the tumble dry usually does the trick. Here on The Real Food Program, we always say, don't be scared of your vegetables. Take a cucumber. I think people get bored of vegetables because they use them in boring ways. Now we're gonna... I just wanted to check and see when you guys were going to be home. 
Oh, no, I'm not doing anything, just watching some TV. Okay. Bye. Think he'd make us take a cab? Are you sure you don't mind cooking? Oh, no, no, no. Of course not. We've got loads of stuff in. We can go out tomorrow. As long as you don't make us eat that, uh, that, uh, what's that, that black tar stuff? No. What's that I don't called? Know. Oh, no. Again, it's Marmite. Oh, oh yeah, Marmite. <laughs> yes. God, what's wrong with these people? No, it's an acquired taste, all right? Yeah, so <laughs> is you, Wax. You don't see me eating right. that, do uh, you? Uh, <laughs> listen, I'm going to go and get your granddaughter. I'll be down uh, in a second. Granddaughter. Excuse me. <laughs> Get it from the side Get it, get it all around oh, oh. Honey, we're home The plane was on time Honey <laughs> So, Grandma, how was your flight? Long. Too bad we're leaving tomorrow. <laughs> Tell it, anyone? That's it. I'm going to KFC. I will take some. Yeah. Yes, thanks. So what have I learned today? I've learned that my wife likes to masturbate with a cucumber <sighs> when I'm not around. Don't rub it in. No, I don't have to. It's the joy of doing it yourself. A cucumber, though. Not only does that make me feel inadequate as a man, but I'll never be able to look at a salad the same way again. Yeah, Mr. Winters, the best salt beef in town. Ellie, you want my cucumber? 
<laughs> Look, let me give you kids a little advice. The second you start sticking vegetables inside of you, something's not right. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Thank you. <clears throat> Now look what you did. What? What did I do? Can't you give her a break? All I'm saying is you would never do something like that when you were Ellie's age. That's because we had sex all the time. I think I'm gonna go, oh, Jack. No. Sit down. Is there something you want to tell us, Sue? Hmm? Is everything all right in that department? Yeah, uh, yes. Right. It's totally normal. Thank you very much. We're just going a bit of a dry patch, that's all. Dry. You're not a fagel, are you? Oh, my God. Alvin, are you gay? Excuse me? His brother Marty was a fagel. Oh, oh. Look what happened to him. Had a terrible accident with a lawn mower. <laughs> Just uh, take care of each other and not too many vegetables. And remember what I told you. Yeah. Be well, be happy. We love you. Thank you. Heathrow, Terminal Big 3, please. Okay. Thanks a lot. I will, I will. Mwah. Love us. I love that. Hmm. It's not too sushi here? Too sushi? Hmm. I mean, no. No. Far from being too sushi. Could even do with a bit more sushi. Really? Oh, yes. Hmm. <gasps> we can accent the outfit with a bit of this. Shush, level of four. Nice. Huh, good eye. I know. For a bit more money, you can have the other eye, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, if this runway show goes well, believe me, there will be plenty to go around. Thank you, by the way, for all this help. I believe in you, Ellie. Well, for as long as you keep paying me. <laughs> Thank you for the loyalty. Hey, so, um, you're a guy, right? <sighs> Biologically, yes. But up here? I'm every woman in the world. Shakaka. <laughs> How do you keep things fresh in your relationship? You have some time now? I want you to meet some friends. Is it true that Indian people think that white people smell like milk? Milk is yeah. Absurd. Hey, look, I'm from Saskatchewan. The only Indians I've ever seen wear loincloths and live in teepees. Oh, thanks, Jenny. Still there. Uh, that's all, I think. Oh, oh, OK. She's got a thing for you. Hey, uh, Jenny, do you think? Clearly, my friend. Uh, Some men wouldn't think twice. Oh, oh, what, having an affair? Going behind my wife's back? Correct. Take the French, for example. They got it sussed. Having a mistress is just part of French culture, like uh, baguettes or smelly cheese. <laughs> it's an option for some men. No? Hey, you know King Akbar? Some people said that he had over 5,000 wives. Very astute, my young friend. Take Brother Brigham Young, founder of the Mormon Church. One word, polygamy. Ah, yeah, the ancient art of paper folding. Are you not busy? Andrew! Hola! Ah. I want you to meet my partner, one time. Hola! Oh, Hi. it's so nice to meet you. I heard so much about you. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you, too. Mm -hmm. He wants to know about Swepsi. Ah, Swepsi is the key to a happy relationship, no? Babuela. Okay, what the hell are Swapsies? You don't know about Swapsies? No. Okay. You pick a couple of men you like, mm -hmm. make sure they're pretty, very pretty. Go ahead, go, go, go. Okay. We're not looking, we're not looking, no? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
those two. Those two? Okay. okay. What's this? Mira? Okay. Uh, Mira me? Mira. Mira, guapa. <laughs> Wait, just wait. Smile. Hello. All good. What's all good? It's not cheap. How to say? It's like exchange program. Oh, 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 you switch partners. Hey, well, uh, you got it finally be swapping. And just like that. Just like that. It's very easy, no? Easy peasy. Huh. This is what we call a swapsy. And that, my dear, is the secret to a happy marriage. Uh, no. no. Baby, you were holding your banana, not eating it, just... I'm just pausing. <laughs> what? Um, let me let you into a little secret. I'm a simple man. Don't mm -hmm. overread me. When you ask me what's on my mind, then I say nothing. I generally mean nothing. Well, I am thinking about something. <laughs> yeah, of course you are. Because when you want to know what's on my mind, you really want to talk about what's on your mind. Because we never finished our conversation. What conversation? Which one? Alvin, oh, come on. The big one. The big one we were having the other night about our marriage. <clears throat> I'm sorry. You are right. We should discuss it. Things have felt off for a while now. I agree. And whether it's marriage has changed something or what? It shouldn't. I don't know, but it does. Why? Because if you eat bananas every day, eventually you're going to want a plum. <laughs> you know? I mean, it could be the greatest taste known to man. As God is my witness, I love bananas, but. Day in, day out, eventually, you're going to want something else. So you've thought about eating it's plums? Not, you've had... No. It's okay, Alvin. I mean, my God, we don't even really touch each other anymore, so why wouldn't you go for a plum mm. or apples or oh, grapes? Come on, come on. But, but no, no, no. Hold hey. on, hold on. Hear me out. Hear me out, because I would do anything to save our marriage. Do you feel the same way? Of course I do. Good. Because I think we should see another couple. What do you mean? We, you know, swap. Swing. Whoa, 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 did you say swing? Like she's gonna allow you to have sex with another woman swing? Oh my god, wow. Consensual sex within marriage, that's every man's fantasy. Is it? I don't know. I mean, she gets to have sex with another man. Oh, right. Wow. Mm. Listen, just for the record, if, if you were thinking of inviting me and Janet, I don't think Janet would be too happy about it. Thanks. I think you two are probably a bit close to home, mate. Think about it, okay? Before he or I go off and have some crazy affair, this way there's no cheating, there's no pain, there's no deceit. You know, because I'm a banana. Yeah, but babe, you're a ripe. Get firm. Yellow seasonal banana. Don't you forget it. <sighs> okay. It's it's like gardens. You do your garden up really lovely, but then you look over your fence at your neighbor's garden and you like what they've done with theirs better, you know? Why can't we just be happy with our own garden? Don't get it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jack! Jack! Oh. Jack! <laughs> Jack! <laughs> fucking tall as fucking hate him. Back in a minute, babe. Hey, will you do me a favor? Uh -huh. On the 17th, will you... Meet me at this address. Sure, what is it? That's a clinic. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. <laughs> it's a sex clinic. I, I've developed a bit of a... A problem. Um, what sort of problem? <sighs> this is hard. I, uh... I, I had an affair. 
Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, with... She is a patient of mine for my dental practice. She has perfect teeth. I mean, the most gorgeous mandibular central incisors I've ever seen. I could resist. How long? Uh, about a half inch long, five millimeters the affair. wide. Once. Just one time. Yeah. Great. I mean, is Janet no? No. Not yet. Are you going to tell her? Yes, I'm going to tell her. I'm going to tell her. I just... <sighs> Don't say anything to anybody yet, okay? I just... Just need a little time to figure things out. Hey, um... Why don't we place an ad on a website or something? So you still want to go through with this? I... I don't know. I mean, maybe it's exactly what we need. And if it doesn't work? Then we've only wasted the last nine years of our lives. Hey. Hey. So, how's this? He, mid-thirties, extremely attractive, intelligent, bordering on genius, regular gym user, physically toned and athletic build. She, neurotic skinny, but with a little extra weight in some places she can't get rid of, seek like-minded couple to rid us of our interminable boredom and help save our marriage. Ha ha ha. Keep working on it. That might be the picture that I've been taking. No. What? When was this photo taken? About 1894. <laughs> Looks like it. Come on. No, Alvin, come on. The photo is actually the most important part of the I don't have any photos. I don't have any photos okay, that I would take be prepared one. to show to people. We can take a new one and upload it. Come on, how are we going to attract a good couple if the picture's not good? Can you draw me? So I told her. I told Janet about the girl with the lovely teeth. No way. How'd she take it? Not good. Would you like to see a picture of her? Oh, beautiful, isn't she? I mean, can you blame me? <laughs> Watching a, a rerun of Jerry Springer. The episode was called I Married a Prostitute and Now I Want You Back. Or something like that. He just he felt guilty and he told me. I'm so sorry. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's just too hard right now. Oh. Well, these are really nice. Yeah. You like these? Excuse me. How much are these sunnies? Listen, look. I'm, I'm not gonna judge you. We're friends. But I've got to ask. Why did you do it? Remember you told me about that plateau you hit? Mm. Well, we hit it a long time ago, and we did nothing about it. Say, young man, would you like a lollipop? Oh, he's sugar free, of course. Look at this. Look how many replies we've got. Whoa. How are we going to sort through them all? I don't know. I guess maybe we just invite a few round, see who we like. OK. I'd say of the both of us, I'm probably the more dominant one. Wouldn't you say, Slavik? Yes. One thing that uh, really turns me on. Toes. Well, Henry likes me to pee on him. You may not think it by looking at him, but George's willy has shrunk. Hey. I said your willy has shrunk. You've been a naughty doggy, Bertie, haven't you? <laughs> you need to be punished, don't you? <laughs> Bertie's been a naughty doggy! <laughs> you know what? He say he like doggy style. Hi. I don't do men, by the way. I do. <laughs> 
After I sold the law firm, we moved to the country and we've just been enjoying a slice of rural living. <laughs> I'm a landscape gardener. I love my job. And anyway, we were looking for a bit of excitement in our lives. So things have gotten a bit stale. But just a normal couple. Normal, average, everyday couple. <laughs> so, have you two ever done anything like this before? Well, us? No. No. No, never. What about you? <laughs> never. No. no. It's my wife's idea. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> Would you like another Jaffa cake? I love Jaffa cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, you know, and I think we all have like a chemistry together. Mm. Do you think she's attractive? Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I do. Yeah. And the young um, Jeff again, you think we've got so much in common. Uh -huh. um, what about you? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's almost as handsome as you. So, how does Saturday sound? We'll have to set some ground rules, of course. And we'll need, like, a safe word in case one of us doesn't want to go through with it. What can our safe word be? Geometry? Something like that? You all right? Yeah, sorry, sorry. I just... I can't stop thinking about Janet and Peter oh, and how you. awful that whole situation is. I know. It's so amazing to me, the secrets that some couples can keep. They're just, like, content to carry on, mm -hmm. unhappily married, mm -hmm. blissfully unaware that their husband had an affair. Well, look, we don't have to go through with this, you know, you can back out, it's not too late. No, 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 no. Uh, I think it's all the more reason we should really see what the neighbor's grass looks like, right? <laughs> Hey. Hi. How do I look? Too preppy, isn't it? This is too preppy. I knew it. Jeez, I'm so nervous. Relax. Take a breath. You look, you look nice. It's too tight, isn't it? Too tight. My belly's sticking out. No. What no? belly? Okay. All right. We don't have to go through with this, you know? Uh, remember, safe word. I know, I know. Algebra. Geometry. Geometry, sorry. Christ, they're early. Right. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Um, remember, if something does happen, safe sex. Just remind you. Okay, okay. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 I think we're three minutes Clem. late. Sorry. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. So. Should we go and park yeah, ourselves? Yeah, maybe. Yes. Oh, Just snacks. doing co cocktails and lovely. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Long time. Oh, wait. Yeah. So, uh, screaming orgasm or jism on the face? Oh, uh, I seen jism on the face again. That's uh, vodka, Kahlua, coconut milk, and a little bit of froth on the head. Oh, uh, I think I'll have jism on the face, thanks. Right. I'll have uh, one in the eye, please. Richard, can I uh, get you a cocktail? Um, anal blast for me. <laughs> OK. I need to check the book on that one. <laughs> this is a lovely bar. Oh, yes, thanks. It's, uh, it's an antique. Oh. And this is China. Mm. Miso Harney. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, um, Prince Charles. Is it like a caricature? Or? Angry Cyclops. No, it's a banana. Oh, nutcracker. Oh. Oh. Someone at the dentist. Waves. No. Waves. Waves. Punching. Punching waves. I don't know um, what this is. Uh, it's a cave. A wave punch. Is it Barcelona's team means. badge? Are we near? No. Okay. What? We give up. What, what is it? Are you joking? No. What is it? It's the vulvum. Come on. Oh, oh, do you mean a vulva? 
Uh, isn't volvum the plural of vulva? I think you'll find it's vulva, darling. So, so also vulvum? Nothing. And by the way, whatever you drew, that's not a vulva <laughs> or a vulva. <laughs> no, mine, anyway. <laughs> Come here. This, this is what a vulva looks like. What is that? Like, you know, kind of more like. like Thanks, sorry, that, that's not like any vulva I've ever seen. Oh, and how many vulva have you seen? Gosh, this is a fierce game. <laughs> Who wants another drink? Uh, love one, yeah. Let me give you a hand. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I'm sure it was vulva. Album, well, bye. <clears throat> as long as you know where it is, that's the important thing. <laughs> this is odd, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, odd. Yeah. Yeah. Just, um, just, just go with it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with it. Yeah. Go with it. Go with it. Right. One dirty Canadian. Looks fantastic. <laughs> Did it right. You uh, truly are a very attractive woman. Thank you. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay. Sorry, what have you got? Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, lovely. Um, you're, um, yeah. you're very nice. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> 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 really nice. Yeah. Thanks. Congratulations. I don't mean that, but yeah. It must be the jism on the face. <laughs> <laughs> it must be. Oh, Can you taste it? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Just to let you know, if anything does happen down below... Tim Hinman. Hmm? Unexpected semi. Hey, Alvin. <laughs> OK. So you're still OK with this? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Are you? Yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah. OK. OK. Well, good luck, then. Yeah, you too. All right. It's like us. Hello? It's Richard. Oh, uh, Richard, I'm just in the toilet. Please, do come in. What are you reading? A magazine in the uh, house and garden. Good magazine, hmm. Uh, you don't mind if I use your toothbrush, do you? Uh, no, not at all. It's got a bit of a funny taste in my mouth. Well, you, you can keep that. Do you think you could, uh... I didn't like to say anything earlier, by the way, but, um... You're a good-looking man. <sighs> right. Thanks, I think. I'm not gay or anything. No, of course not. But, you know... If you wanted to... I would. Right, thanks. Can I just say, off the bat, No. Sure, 
Yeah, of course. <sighs> well, you know where I am. Want coffee? Sure. Best be off, I think. Oh. Do you think? Okay. Okay. Sure. Still, it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Give me a hug. Here you go. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Thanks Bye. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Um. Sweet. Mm. Yeah. Okay. We'll walk you. Yeah. Well, no, we'll, we'll see ourselves out. Well. I guess that's everything. I'll, uh, I'll come by over the weekend, see the kids. Come here, buddy. Give your dad a hug. This act of stupidity has a consequence, Peter. Nut, one of the world's most popular nuts. Hey, a hon, did I tell you that um, we might have some really big names confirmed for the runway? You ever wondered how they deshell pistachios? It would be really clever to invent a machine that deshells them. Sorry, what were you saying? 
you ever listen to anything that I say? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course I do. But sometimes, don't, don't take this the wrong way, sometimes not everything you say is fascinating. No. Well, you pretend. You just, you pretend to care and be interested. Yeah, but if I pretend, you'll still know instinctively that I'm pretending and you'll still catch me out. Look, this is why you've got Janet. She's interested in all this stuff. Who's this? You know, when I get together with my men friends, there are long periods of silence. And I'm... I'm fine with silence. Do you have to cut your toenails on the couch? OK, sorry, sorry, but look, I've got them in the pile. OK, yeah, thank you, I can see. You know, technically, I do own half the couch. This, this half that I'm sitting on. I just want you to be interested in my life for once. I have this huge show coming up, and it's really important to me. What did I do? Nothing. Nothing. Y you didn't do anything. It's OK. Since when was nothing such a big crime? I love how I get into this much trouble by not saying a word. Nothing means you don't care. Because I'm not an expert. No, no, no. Showing someone you care by expressing an opinion or interest, it doesn't require you to be an expert. I'm sorry, I don't have forceful opinions on women's apparel, Ugh. OK? It's really that simple. Right? No, no, no. OK, enough. Enough with this pseudo-intellectual psychobabble bullshit. I'm so sick of it. It's annoying, Alvin. Hun, when you're in this mood, you can have the last word. Clearly, anything I say is just going to spark up a new argument, isn't it? Because you don't know when to shut up and just apologize. So go be a slob, and I'll clean it up, and I'll go cook you dinner. No, no, I'll, I'll get in Chinese. I don't want Chinese. Do you want Indian? No, I want romance, and I want passion. I want a fairy tale. You want all the things that we don't have? Yes, I get it. I get it. I guess the swinging thing wasn't such a good idea. No, maybe not. Everything is exactly the same. Now it's just weirder. Maybe we should spend some time apart. Yeah. Maybe we should. Do we have to do this here, now? When else are we going to do it, Alvin? Can you not answer the question? Is, uh, right here. Sorry about that. Uh, all right. All right. Do, you, do you want something to eat? Huh? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Here. There you go. No. Uh, fortune cookie. To tell me I've arrived in the land of the dead? No, thanks. Uh, so. So. 
you get your question answered. What question? Is the grass greener on the other side? I have Ben and Jerry and Brad. In any order you prefer, all at the same time. Dr. Peter Garby? Hey, good luck. Right then, Mr. Garby, take a seat. Okay, so my name's Nurse Franklin. I see you're a doctor. Uh, well, well, yeah, I'm a general and uh, cosmetic dentist, actually. Hey, if you ever need those stains on your teeth removed... Uh... This your boyfriend? No, no, I'm married. Well, I'm, not, I'm not married to him. I'm. Although I would, I, w I would marry you. You know, I was into that kind of stuff. What seems to be the problem? Yes, I have developed an itch. Mm. Mm. Whereabouts? In my pants. What part of the body? This is the general nether region, in my crotch area. Your penis, just, just say it, Pisa. Hey, hey, hey! Wow! My penis. Mm -hmm. Okay, when was the last time you had sex? Right, right, when, when, when was that? That was uh, a few weeks ago, right? Does your wife have any symptoms? My wife? What does she have to do with it? We haven't had sex in ages. So, he, um, he had a one night stand. Hey, come on! Look. Jesus. It sounds to me like you probably caught something, most likely a sexually transmitted infection. Ah, oh, that's what I thought. Oh, God! Mm, God can't help you now, Mr. Garvey. But I can. But I need to be sure, so as well as urine, I should probably take a swab. What? A what? A urethra swab. A urethra? I beg your pardon? A swab of the inside of your penis. Okay. Don't go away. No! Don't, don't go! Don't, don't go! Don't, don't go! Don't go! Please, please! You're sorry. Ah! Don't worry, okay. Mr. Garby. I've done this a million times before. <laughs> they call me Urethra Franklin. <laughs> now pull down your trousers. <clears throat> now, what I need you to do is to hold open the tip of your penis while I insert this swab. <gasps> Are you okay? You're sweating. Just do it fast. Now, it's very important that you remain absolutely still. No movement at all, OK? Do you understand? Yes. Show Nurse Franklin a little R-E-S-P-E-C-T. <laughs> it's just a little joke. Here, bite down on this. Kids okay over there? All right, thanks. Holler if you need me. Oh, I could get used to this. <laughs> I always thought a mani-pedi was a pedicure for men. 
to my surprise, it's just a manicure and a pedicure at the same time. So, is it better? What? Life on the other side? Ta. You tell me, Finkel. I mean, we get to watch TV anytime we want. We get to order in Chinese, Indian food. We don't have to do the dishes. We don't have to wash our clothes. We get to do cool stuff together, like, like this. I mean, isn't this what every single man dreams of? Really? Really, really? Wow, that was three reallys in one sentence. That's not good. I'm not gonna lie to you. Marriage is not without its foibles. But I kind of miss the yelling and the nagging and the fighting. I, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I really miss my wife. Yeah. You fuck up big time, man. It's hard for women to find good men. All right, hands. Oh, okay. come see mommy. You have a good time with daddy, Oh, yeah? we had a great time. Okay, How are you? I'm okay. You? Not so good. I was thinking about our first date. I remember picking you up from your crappy little flat in that awful neighborhood in South London. <laughs> <laughs> Out of this godforsaken, rundown crack house emerges this beautiful vision. I had butterflies in my stomach, but that memory is is forever etched in my in my mind. As are the tattoos of the pimp who was standing <laughs> on the corner. I just want you to know. I'm very sorry. As the pedicurist put it, I fuck up big time. I can't say I forgive you, Peter. I'm hurt. And I'm mad. The trust is broken. It's gonna take a long time to repair that. I know. You had a pedicure? Look, I'm done when I'm done. Give me a break, you sound like my mother. Fine. Love you too. How do we do it? It's love, hate. Mm. Marriage takes work. If you want to milk a cow, you can't just sit back and wait for the cow to back into your hands. Excellent advice, my young native friend. You gotta make an effort. Well, Ellie's got her show soon. I was thinking of trying to patch things up. There's your perfect chance. Show her you care. You can't just go through life being a passive, limp non sequitur like Henry here. I don't know. It's always worked for me. Be a verb. Take action. Be in control. You're right. He's right. OK, 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 people. One minute to go, huh? You. And you, uh, you look fantastic, huh? And you... How about you don't look good, so you change it to me? Don't ever let this move lift up hang right there, even when you change. All right, you're good. I'm sorry. You made it. I didn't think I was going to, but I don't know what it means to have. Janet's leaving us in peace. So you two are talking now? Well, well we're working on it. Isn't that what marriage is all about? What the hell are you wearing? What? Velvet's very fashionable. It's a fashion show, right? Yeah. On a sofa, maybe. Oh,
Guitar, right? Actually, I think that's Gene Simmons. He plays bass. Yeah, yeah. Who the hell is Richard Simmons? He's the American aerobics guy with the shorts. Real name, Milton Teagle Simmons. How do you know that? I watch a lot of TV, okay? Hey, ah! Alvin. Mm. You, you, you know that, that Jen and I are throwing this New Year's Eve party, right? So you're getting back together then? <sighs> I love my wife. I love my kids. Sadly, it took me almost losing them to realize how much. We, we, we just want everyone we know and love to be in the same place at the same time, so... We'd love if you would come. It depends. I mean, Alvin really didn't make much of an effort at my show. At least he came, right? So, does this mean you've forgiven Peter? No, it just means that I don't want to give up years of family and marriage. 
You know, he made a mistake and it hurts. It hurts a lot. But I love him and I miss him. This just made me realize that I need to take a little time for myself. Look, come for us. Hmm? Come for your insanity. Come because there's not a time to be thinking about how miserable your life is. Well, I'm not sure. I'm sort of on the fence, you know? Okay, okay, let's put this in context. You marry the girl of your dreams. She lets you dip your pen into another woman's ink. You're on the fence? This guy. Alvin, look, I may not have given you the best advice over the years, but let me put it like this. If you sit on the fence, you're going to get splinters up your ass. Tell her. It's very good advice. Just give them some paracetamol. Well, stick it in a piece of cheese. It always works for the dog. No, it doesn't mean I don't care. Well, I'm busy. You're busy. We're both tired. Look, I tell you what. Let's go on a date. Wednesday. Just like old times. I love you too. Got my shoes gaining ground as I walk into town. Got my top state of mind. I'm feeling lucky tonight. Got my bag full of dreams, but bird. Hi, mate. Um, yes, Happy New Year. Listen, I need a favor. My hopes way up high. I'm feeling lucky tonight. There's so much living, I gotta live. Somewhere something's got to give From rags to riches, the jack to king I'm the king of the world, I can do anything Got my mind set on you If you need someone to Got my best selling smile So I need to drop you and head back. Speaking of which, that's her. By the way, I told her you had a hernia, and I was taking you to A&E. Awesome. Hi, honey. No, he's OK. Well, it's sticking out quite a bit. They just push it back in, I imagine. Hey, what are friends for? Holy crap! Oh. Uh, sorry, honey. Um, uh, he just showed it to me, and it's not very pleasant. Listen, I got to go. I love you, too. Houston, we have a problem. Jim, some good friends of mine once told me not to wait for the cow to back into my hands, but to go out into the field and milk it. Metaphorically speaking, but yes, wise words. Yes, yes, wise words. Listen, mate, I've got to go. Happy New Year. Go! Milk the cow! Be a bird! Godspeed to you, my friend.
you call me a cab, please? Yes. Thanks. I mean, they were actually quite a nice couple, but they were a little bit creepy. You know, he came into the bathroom and propositioned me. And not only that, he used my toothbrush. Oh, a man's toothbrush is ugly and should never be tough. Exactly. I hope you got a new one. Only like immediately. of its blank for the next nine years. But what exactly does all of this mean, Alvin? Right, well, we've been together nine years. Right, there's nine crazy, beautiful, hard, challenging years. Where sometimes we've driven each other up the wall or wanted to tear our hair out. But I don't know. I married you for better or for worse. So what I'm saying is the grass isn't greener on the other side. I know, I've seen it, it's a myth. If anything, it's like half green, half brown. But even that doesn't matter because it's the same color, both sides. Do you see what I'm saying? No, what no. are you saying? Uh, I'm, I'm saying that I like bananas. I'm saying that I want to spend the next nine years of my life with a banana. And the nine after that. <laughs> You remember you're the banana. Guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Ellie. Am I too late? No, love, you're not too late. You're kind of just perfectly on time. I need to kiss you now. Exactly for you. Sorry. Do you think 
you can handle this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can. Yeah, with pleasure. Hey, how do I know it's my, it's you with Richard and everything? I'm no, sorry, no, no, but no, 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 God. God, no, I didn't, I didn't do anything. I couldn't, I just. What? No, it was, I, I chickened out big time. Sorry. You didn't tell me earlier? When could I have said anything? You went through with it. No, no I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't go through with it. I chickened out even bigger time. John almost chickening out. Wait, you. I thought that you... Yeah, I thought that you... You were in the... Oh. Oh. So, I guess there is something to this whole monogamy thing. Yeah, I guess there yeah. is. over 50 years ago. I really don't know what I'd do without you. I really wouldn't. You're, you're like my rock, you know, you're... We've got plenty. We have our own dungeon. Mm. I, I equipped it myself. Generally, I prefer to be on top when we make love. Takes the pressure off Slavic to perform. You, um, you put a lot of pressure on me. She's very heavy. Said we're proud to be British. Oh, yeah. Well, go on, George. Show them. Pull your trousers down. They all want to see it. Mummy spent a lot of money in Harvey Nichols. How much did you spend? Five hundred pounds on Jimmy Choo's. Mummy deserves to be punished. Mummy wants to be punished. Ah! Mummy spent another 500 pounds on Salvatore Ferragamo. Seriously? Yes. Ah! Let them be dirty, sweaty, full of uh, toe jam. I don't care. I just love toes. He <laughs> loves toes. <laughs> Lovely big garden, which is, I think, it's going to be a real <laughs> bonus. Um, <laughs> sorry. So all we really need now is the baby. <laughs> this is the sex one. This isn't the baby. Hmm? Sorry. This is the sex one. I thought this was the adoption. No, this is not the adoption one. We don't walk around like this. It's, it's just for at home. I'm a banker. 